To begin, let's talk about the layout of the course book. The course book is pretty standard in its layout. It uses a, um, it uses a layout that you'll see on many websites, and it's a, a layout that's specifically tailored to presenting a lot of information. So a lot of information can be packed into the, into the course book. The course book itself has, uh, has a set of screen areas that I'll refer to throughout the, throughout the course, and that will be useful for you to know just in general. And the first area is above us here. It's the banner area. Banner area, as, as you probably have seen in many applications, contains logoing, titling, and any sort of context information. The, the, the banner itself is one area of the screen that you can use in order to, um, to establish the entire context of the application and uh, establish the look and feel that you'll have for the application. Um, to uh, below the banner, but still above me right now, is the global navigation. The global navigation area is the area of the application that's always available. Its options may change a little bit from place to place in the application, but it's there to always give you the main, the main kind of navigation that you can access at any time. So when you want to make a big move from one large part of the application to another, you use the global navigation. Over here to the, whoops, let me see. <laughs> Over here to this side, I think I'm pointing in the right direction, but it's hard to see. Well, either, either I'm pointing in the right direction or I'm pointing in 180 degrees to the wrong direction, to the local navigation. The local navigation, you, you should expect to change from time to time inside the application, and it shows you all of the different content that you can get to at, um, at this part of the application. So while the, global app, uh, while the global navigation establishes the big changes, the local navigation um, establishes the small changes. And you'll see that a course schedule can come up in the local navigation area or information about the logistics of the class or a course outline. Those are all the kinds of things that come up in the local navigation. It establishes the small moves that you can make. The area that we're in right now, all around me here, we'll call the content area. The content area is where the payload of the application um, lives. So this content area you can think of as the main focus of the application and everything that surrounds the content area, both above and below the content area, establishes some sort of context and navigation and allows you to get to the right information in the content area. So the content area is the main event. We have the banner, we have the global nav, the local nav, and the content area. And then finally you'll see below, below the content area and the local nav, is, a, um, is the footer, usually called, or the copyright area, where um, sometimes you'll see text ver versions of links that are in the, um, are in the global navigation. Um, you'll often see copyright information there. You'll see contact information there. It establishes uh, all of the information that is of minor importance but needs to be established inside of the screen. So that's the layout. It's a very simple layout, and, um, uh, and hopefully you, 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 it's immediately intuitive how to make use of that layout.